you know how to turn a pen? Have you ever turned a pen? I haven't got a clue. So let's figure this out. Pen turning wasn't on my radar. It's not something I was really interested in doing. Um, I, I just, I didn't even think about it. Um, when I put together the parameters for selecting this machine, um, pin turning, I'm, I mean, it was, it was right up there with doing big spindles. It just, it just wasn't something I was going to do. However, I have an ant. And the ant is a big part of our family. And uh, she's really into sewing. So I saw somewhere, I don't remember where I got the actual idea from, to make her a seam ripper, uh, a custom seam ripper. So I uh, went down to Rockler, got the seam ripper kit, and guess what? Its basis to make it is turning pins. Okay, so now I have to learn how to turn pins, which is actually not a bad thing. And the reason I say that is because um, I need practice. And uh, the, the inexpensive slimline kits, pen kits, are, are they're a couple bucks each, a uh, piece of wood, a couple bucks each. For five bucks, you're practicing. Uh, and you get a pen at the end of it. So uh, my goal is to make this seam ripper and a matching pen uh, out of the same type of wood. Uh, but to get there, to get there, I have to teach myself how to turn pins. So, with that in mind, again, at Rockler, uh, and I had watched a few videos on turning pins. Why? Because it's super interesting, and I'm interested in turning. And the amount of little things that you had to buy was to me kind of daunting because uh, Rockler's 40 miles away. So I wanted to go there, get what I needed, and um, come home and immediately start turning pins. Um, there was nobody at the store at the time. It was, it was right when they first opened, so in all fairness to them, um, that knew really how to turn pins. Um, but they did have something that I was pretty sure, and the, the salesman was pretty sure, that uh, could get me started. And that's this. This is the uh, Rockler uh, Beginning Pen Turning Kit. And uh, got tons of glare, free of charge today. Let me see if I can get the little picture out here. Uh, and give you a little bit better shot. That's it, okay? Um, I'll tell you how much it costs, but I, I forgot. And to be perfectly honest with you, every time I walk out of Rockler, it's just like, hey, that was $200. How did that happen? It, you know, I didn't, I, it wasn't just this. There was other stuff I, I bought in there, but um, it's just amazing. So, with that said, I get the kit, I bring it home. Now, knowing that I don't know what I'm doing, I had to figure all this stuff out. Let's set this over there. And um, basically what they do, it, there's a type of pen called a slimline. And uh, this kit is set up for slimline, as it says in the, in the description there. There's stuff here to make three pens, which is gonna be absolutely perfect. It's got your three pen kits. Uh, again, these are, these are just a couple of bucks each. Um, it's got the mandrel, mandrel? It's got this big long thing here that you chuck up and anyway. And the most daunting part, you know, based on watching pen videos, is getting the correct drill bit, okay? Because uh, apparently you just don't pull out a drill index, select a drill bit, and ah, it's close enough. You have to have a certain type and they're kind of a weird type. Um, Either here or there, they give you the uh, the correct bit. 
uh, they give you three different types of wood. I mean, this isn't super, you know, exotic wood. It's kind of cool looking. I mean, that's that's a cool piece of wood. Uh, I don't know what blood wood is, but it's red. Uh, this one here is uh, olive olive wood. It looks pretty cool. And this one here is I can't pronounce, but that's not saying much. Another cool thing is they actually give you super glue for the CA finish at the end. Um, I'm gonna have to teach myself how to do CA finishing. So there's a ton on this video that we gotta figure out. In addition to that, th this is another thing that I wasn't sure about was this little uh, end mill that, because what you have to do, and you'll see when I, when I go through the process, um, once you put the brass tube in, then you gotta get the wood down to the brass tube. Uh, and you need a tool to do that, and it's this guy. Now, um, I think I figured out that this piece here is for the slimline, okay? Um, this one here is for the slimline, uh, but they give you the other size. There's, there's four different versions here, so I think we'll be okay. Um, oh, and they give you the bushings too for the slimline. So, when you go through and say, okay, I need the bushings, I need the drill bit, I need the mandrel, I need that thingy, whatever it is, and that holds the end mill, um, and then I need wood, and I need super glue, and then they gave me these things. I'm not quite sure what they are, okay? Um, there are these little white things here, okay? And what they, I think what they are is you take the bushings off, you put these in, and then you do your CA glue on these so they don't stick to the metal. Because it would be kind of a bummer if you got this nice wood, you get it the way you want it, it's perfect, and you just glued the bushing onto the end of it. We'll figure it out. But they also, they gave me this thing here, it looks like a, a compression fitting. So uh, again, guessing, I think you can put this, I'll have to check to see if it fits over the mandrel. You put this on the mandrel, to shorten everything up, to put, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. So, um, anyway, with all that said, um, let's see if we can turn a pin. I'm not gonna do a lot of narration through it. It's just gonna be different shots of different scenes as I go through. Um, and at the end of the day, we should have a pin. Let's get to work.
Well, there you go. There's my first pin. Uh, is it perfect? Oh, no. Uh, did we make progress? Yes. Did we learn a lot? Yes. Uh, toward the end there, uh, stuff that's not included in the kit uh, that really would have, uh, that you need. I only had a thousand grit sandpaper. Uh, I did wet um, and it came out okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to complain. It actually looks nice. Um, and what else was it? There was one more thing. Oh, I, <laughs> I didn't have any plastic polish. Uh, so I used some turtle car wax and uh, it came out okay. It's not that deep, super gloss, uh, but you know what? For a daily driver, I think it'll be fine. So beginning uh, pen makers, uh, don't even hesitate, jump right in. Buy that kit from Rockler, not a sponsor, uh, and, and just go for it. I mean, I think I got, if you were to just go buy the kit, I think the kit, a slimline kit's about three bucks, a piece of wood. They got sales for a buck and a half. So for less than five bucks, you can knock a pin out. So, but the kit, I forget how much it was, but well worth it. Well worth it, because you're not chasing parts. Thanks for watching.